Okay, we're gonna go to the next one before before my homie says that we gotta start again. <laughs> oh, my volume. There we go. I think the volume is good now. Hmm. So, it begins. I suppose it's time to go do something completely inexplicable. Mm -hmm. Again. Again. Hello, Anna, old friend. Ecclesia Desis. I haven't seen you since a little argument on Salem Proctor. What? Who is it? You wouldn't know why treating that preacher like you did. <laughs> is that a goat sitting on a chair? I have every <laughs> right, Desis. I'm a Lord Inquisitor for oh. Tennessee. Oh. If I suspect someone of heresy, I will take them away and torture them. Until they give me an answer. That's not a chair, little Billy. That, that's a toilet, <laughs> I think. No, not this I again. He saved his entire world. With his people, he let him reconquer his planet for the Emperor, defying the heathens who control it. Uh, uh. The young boy was nothing but a false prophet who lasted for power. That's Sounds like you do not too. Right. It's worth like Promethean media. Anyone got some steaks? We mm. had one steak last Tuesday, you No! Oh, God. Right. Why would you outlaw steaks? That's like, mm. that is heresy. Really? After you had your fit about us executing, was the taint of chaos? Not discovered oh. amongst his followers. We could have known if he was tainted or not before our final judgment was called for, but because of you, we lost that chance. Ah. Oh, but you can never be too careful about the ever-present threat of chaos, Ecclesiarch. And that is why I have come here as the Inquisition's own representative. Mm. Ah, my nostrils itch something fierce. I can't take this We're seriously. Oh. Uh. heads hit you, but what's today? What are you jabbering on about now? Why have you come here, Katamazov? I and almost every other Inquisitor in the galaxy have received a message from Terra, Death. telling us that the Inquisition and the Adeptus Ministorum are to be disbanded. Yeah, because yes, I know about this message. No one here has sent it. Well, there is no doubt. It definitely came from Holy Terror itself. A forgery of its seal cannot possibly be this precise. However, it's claimed that the Emperor of Mankind himself wrote it. He is blasphemous. It is clearly written by a heretic hiding somewhere here mm. on this very planet. Being such a deluded fool, you do have a point. <laughs> <laughs> Good. See if I make that happen. Or is this at least allowing enough blood to flow from your scalp for you to understand the oh situation my requires mending. <sighs> so what is your purpose here exactly, Theodore? What are you into? I hate how they spell his name. I remember the finger I had before I replaced it with an auto quill. Oh. oh, I just made myself sad. Where did I put my toaster? So, yeah, all in all, Terran is from another galaxy and have come here for the sole purpose of eating everything that is organic in order to grow stronger and fiercer. Mm. They are honestly pretty damn scary. I'm lucky to have been trained not to feel fear or anxiety over such things as a seemingly imminent doom. And you say there have been an entire three major wars against these creatures with loads of Imperial forces involved? Yes, indeed. The first, second, and third Tyrannic War. That's As I said, the most notable must have been the first Tyrannic War, when they supposedly first made their entrance into our galaxy. 
They completely stripped the planet Tyrant of all life, thereby getting the name of Tyranids. Very. And you said during this war they destroyed the Alpha Marines, devoured their entire- That would- That would- Suck. Imagine you live on that planet. And, uh... You're like, man, we're dying this horrible death to these unknown aliens. Xenos. And then they're like, you know what? We're gonna name it after your planet. We're gonna name them after your planet. Like, oof, that sucks. Thank you, or Orin Rain, for following. <laughs> it, oh gosh, that that would that would be so just like oof. Sorry. Well, yeah, there are worse ways to die. That's for sure. You could be captured by a Drukari, for example, as Bricky enlightened us. <laughs> Entire first company and crippled the leader of the Ultramarines yeah. off a smirk when they first arrived. How in the name of Lee Man Ross's overinflated ego did that happen? <laughs> well, yes. All Ultramarines in the galaxy were needed to beat off the assault on the crowd, but the two main events that are most important would be the confrontation between Marius Kalgar. Off a smirk? Yeah. Half a smirk from the swarm, <laughs> and the event that ended the battle in decisive Imperial victory. What the fuck is a smurf? <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be a roller coaster ride of disappointment. Tell me what happened. Well, my Papa Smurf and the Swarm were fought one another in a battle of two independent characters. The battle space in the end of the period proved spray. too strong for him, resulting in him being gravely wounded. I am invincible! Get him, get him! The Ultramarines always triumph! <laughs> How about you? Foul shield! Get him! Get him! Get him. Oh! I'll have it you! <laughs> I love it. I love that. That's a very good reference. Yep, it just buttoned me a flesh wound! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! worth pointing out is that something similar to this apparently happened later in the year 976 when the Ultramarines fought another high fleet called Perseus. However, the history of the galaxy is a major cluster of this <laughs> yeah. anyway, so I don't know if that can still be considered true or not. Anyway, back to McCry. Unable to stand the mere thought of losing a sacred spiritual legion on their already grievous losses, the oligarch of our first company sacrificed themselves to evacuate him. So yeah, this guy could not even fight an overgrown fucking book Gargamel and ended up force feeding his bodyguards to it. Mm. Wow. Continue with the story. It makes my bones rattle with condensed and overpowering amusement and joy. Well, a long story short, after being fixed up a bit, Marnit Pavasmurf went to command the orbital battle over Macrak, but was led into a trap at the ring of Old Cersei. Things were looking very grim for them. Led into a trap by a bunch of space locusts. This is dumber than those oiled up fucking strippers I call Glad I thought that was dumb too. The Emperor class battleship Dominus Astra valiantly charged into the heart of High Fleet Beowulf and detonated its warp drives, causing a cataclysmic vortex that sucked both it and the entire Tyranid fleet into oblivion. Victory at Sersky spelled the beat of High Fleet Beowulf. I am sorry. Wow. I am just absolutely living at the moment. <gasps> Remind <gasps> me of. <laughs> that scared me. I don't know if you saw me just like fly back in my chair. Whew, okay, we're fine. We're good. We're good. That that didn't scare me at all. I know no fear, none. Who? <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you warned me about the jump scare. Again, technology is pretty backwards at the moment. Correct. Um. Has somewhat somewhat. Somewhat. Yes. Somewhat. Emperor class battleships are pretty much irreplaceable at this point because of the sheer resources <laughs> and manpower needed to make them, correct? More or less, yes. So this asshole Papa Smurf, instead of just calling back his fleet to a more advantageous position in, you know, fucking space, <laughs> let one of those warships be lost forever in the warp for some depraved minion of chaos to find and diddle around with. This is getting me harder than Terminator! No! Stop! I want you to change my orders. 
Tell the Ultramarines to get back, Magnus, without the Galar fields turned on. Let's see how they enjoy being fucked by demons, like those poor assholes in the battleships. Oh my. Anyway, avoiding the subject of the Ultramarines further, these Tyranids actually sound pretty fucking fascinating. How easy my job would be if every human was just part of me and my giant intelligence, and everything we did was in perfect harmony. Actually, remind me about that <laughs> idea when I get off of this fucking throne. I'll make sure to do that, my lord. The human hive mind would surely be something fantastic to be part of. You're just saying that because you're thoroughly trained to be my bodyguard <laughs> and not ever yes. think, nor yes. feel, or have any other purpose in life. That's right, my lord! Fucking atomic. Straight up designed to be, like, loyal to a fault. <laughs> oh my gosh, these jokes. But on. So anyway, these Tyranids come from the eastern fringe of the galaxy in large bug oh, flesh no. ships and they come from the everywhere. Out of everything they see. Yes? Correct, my lord. And every encounter recorded with them describes them as insect-like creatures with biological weaponry and that they are countless in number. Right. Yes, that is right, my lord. They come in endless streams, too numerous to count with beasts both minuscule and massive, all killing in their own unique, painful ways. Has anyone ever considered fucking bug spray? <laughs> yes! Sorry, Wouldn't that be something like napalm? <laughs> Wouldn't napalm be good bug spray for the Tyranids? You'd need a lot of it, though. <laughs> he, is, he is so polite. That's right, my lord. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Bug spray? What is that? Sorry, I forgot. They stopped manufacturing those after the Dark Age of Technology. Well, my lord, if it's a biochemical weapon you're referring to, I can say that it is not of much use. Regenerative power is something that the species seem to have picked up. Oh, yeah. Many of them also have extremely advanced immune systems, so not much will work. In addition, the race is very adaptable, and if we actually were to concoct a poison against them to use it, they'd most likely gain resistance to it soon after. Oh, that great. is quite yep. a fucking pickle. <laughs> is there anything that works against them? It is a pickle. It's not regular steel on bullets. There's actually a special mutagenic acid developed by the Death Watch that ruins the target's organs from inside and out. Nice. It is used in Hellfire rounds. It works fairly well against anything that's made of the flesh. But since Tyranids not even have any kind of real armor, it seems to work best against them. Then oh, why have any of you fucking idiots- So I was kind of right. I haven't read any Tyranid books, so I was kind of right. It is kind of like a napalm that works against them. Yes. I'm so cool. Oh, this is not my first dive into Warhammer, per se. I've done a lot of reading, uh, but there are some things I am seeing for the first time, like this clip. <laughs> These clips, multiple episodes, and some there's some content I don't know. But for the most part, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is, this is all... But, I mean, I haven't even read books where there have been, like, Tyranids, like, people fighting Tyranids. Other than, um, the one about Belisarius Call, which I forget what the name of it was, so. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I'm so glad. I was pretty, I was pretty close. Napalm, Prometheum? ...had the idea of filling a massive space-sized spray can <laughs> with a constant stream of oxygen. Prometheum and this Hellfire compound and sprayed the fuck out of the Tyranids organic fleet while still in space. That's a great idea, Mike. Look at me! Look at me! I'm coming up with fantastic ideas! Fantastic ideas here! <laughs> that is- that is so good! Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are truly the most intelligent being in the galaxy. Sigh. Sometimes I wish I hadn't made you custodies to be mindless automatons without feelings <laughs> or emotions. It gets lonely here sometimes. <laughs> oh my, oh. Afro, you're truly the most funny being in the galaxy as well. Hey, hey, everyone, promise that you won't do that to me. <laughs> that you won't be like, oh, Aurelia, you're so, f you're so funny. Keep telling your jokes, you're hilarious. <laughs> Don't do that. It's okay, you can make fun of me a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Fucking automaton. <laughs> the giggle. Oh, my lord. At least we aren't as bad as those Necrons. So we're talking about those sleepy <laughs> solist and skeletons now. Do tell me what the fuck they have been up to. You know of them? Oh, Pat. Yeah, of course well, he does. At least they aren't as bad as the Tyranids. I, um... Uh, think... Uh... Wait. Why am I... <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> See, because it could go two ways. You could either do what I say and be honest, or you just give me compliments. <laughs> Nothing could go wrong with this scenario. <laughs> Yes, yes, Kif, I'm coming. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own joke too much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, the Seinfeld bass outro. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is so good. This is so good. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you're getting, you're gonna get the emote soon. It's, um, it's being made right now, I promise. The, the petting emote. The head pats. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're getting into the longer ones. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay, you can't say em God Empress of Mankind. That's that I'm not the emperor. That is that is that's heretical. Very heretical. Yes, my ears are as normal as the imperial citizenry. Thank you. Thank you. You guys know just what to say. Oh, you're so nice. So nice. Oh, yes, yes. You guys are you guys are so good. So good to me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I shouldn't like this this bit so much, but I do. Here, for that, you guys are being so nice. I'm going to give you the button. There you guys go. Thank you. Thank you for being so good. You're being so good right now. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the sanguineous comments make me laugh. <laughs> The button! Uh, I don't think we'll do a oiling the abs button. I think I'll draw the line there. <laughs> oh. I wanna. I'm, I should throw my emotes in my profile so you guys can see them. <laughs> Some of them are my face. <laughs> There you go. I'll keep the button up because everyone has been so good. Thank you very much for <laughs> for humoring me and my jokes. <laughs> Press the button to end stream. No, why would I do that? I'm having fun. I'm having so much fun. The big red button. It destroys the chat if you're being bad. An emote that's a bottle of oil. You guys give me so many ideas. <laughs> All right, we'll watch more of this. this Necron. Definitely it. The crimson path. The center point of the Orion subsector. 
gotta get a, a little like squeal it every once in a while let let the manly side drop and just go Yee! <laughs> a button emote that would be good i i like that idea i could possibly make a button emote sooner <laughs> oh, this is so good like this that I'm really glad that I just monologue to myself and not actually talk to anyone else because if someone had heard that I would be seriously fucked that's me I, I relate to that <laughs> I say the weirdest things when no one's around I get it all out so I don't say it on stream and I don't look dumb <laughs> but doesn't matter I still look dumb anyways This is so cringy. Well, I hope you do realize that Terra is the most <laughs> densely populated and overall planet in the Imperium. It'll take decades to interrogate. I was gonna say, like, it would planet. take forever. Do not doubt us. This is what we are the best at. <laughs> we will scan you. Like that that like seems like it would take forever. And hello to the people who have joined. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm a Warhammer VTuber, and we are watching uh, if the Emperor had text-to-speech device. We are, we are deep in this one. <laughs> Episode 9. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's going to take forever to interrogate every single person. Take forever. Tired of Terra and its people... Mm, but a few days. Oh, how? This sounds highly fucking illegal! <laughs> oh. Can all these My guys die? Just... So we don't have to go back to them? I better know! Big Gucci Van Dyke never had to deal with this bullshit. Uh, maybe we should make him high lord. No, no, <laughs> no, all that no. All that radioactive hellfire you've been exposed to exterminating every planet you come across must have fried your perception. Do you even realize how hard it is to mobilize on one of these hive worlds? It's really damn hard, but I guess you don't realize since you sit on that mobility scooter all day. <laughs> <laughs> mobility well, scooter. You'll have to watch the peach. Shut it, you old trash bags. Um. Oh, while I wait for your speed to rate to calm itself, I shall start to be safe. <laughs> At least remember to expect the ruling of Terra. Not a single drop of blood shall fall upon these sacred ground. <laughs> when you have found your suspects, at least you have the decency of taking them far away from Terra if your eagerness to spill blood grows heavy on you. Yes, yes, I am fully aware. 
You have my promise. I get the feeling he is gonna forget. Sardis, the search has begun. But take heed. Not a single citizen of Terra okay. shall have his or her blood spilled on these sacred grounds. So, remember. Only two birds. <laughs> yes. Ah, I should have known it would be something like that. Um, my lord, was it really that funny? Really? Come on, the Necrons still pose a major threat. Just because the Blood Angels teamed up with them at once doesn't mean they're the Imperium's allies or anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it is kind of funny. No. You are incapable of finding things funny because <laughs> you are a cuss OD. Yes! Oh, right, I forgot. But anyway, what was that? <laughs> oh, yes! So the Blood Angels and the Necrons defeated the Volterrans together, and afterwards they went their separate ways as the Blood Angels and the Necrons were both tired from the big battle. And Commander Dante thought it was distasteful to turn on the Necrons after they had helped each other out. The Necrons were tired. The Blood Angels found something distasteful. <laughs> I'd like to laugh more, but that might break my fragile funny bone. <laughs> Anyway, I was under the impression that Necrons were tireless, soulless skeleton robots with no personality, nor care for anything. What the fuck happened? Believe me, my lord, I think we all were under the impression until we heard about the Blood Angels and their apparent alliance with them. Before, they just spent most of their time coming out on planets unexpectedly and killing anything that lives, having a singular goal in mind, which was the seal of the Eye of Terror, swat away the pyramids, and have the rest of the galaxy become never ending, all you can eat but made for their gods mm, in its hand. Sounds like what I would do if I was a solar skeleton robot. <laughs> that, and slow walk around intimidatingly. Yes. Oh, I would do that too. It reminds me of that hollow that I watched a few millennia back. Da 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 da. Now they're more like. I don't well, know that reference. The goal is still essentially the same, but now it has become apparent that the Catan were actually somehow shattered into pieces a long time ago, and the Necrons have left over fragments of them in their possession, containing near limitless powers. Also, as of late, some Necrons have even been recorded to have actual personalities and even <gasps> feelings. Feelings? Um, I don't have any. No idea where they went off to. They just sort of up sticks and left, I guess. Well, how does it feel having less emotion than a creepy fucking skeleton robot? <laughs> it feels fantastic not being on the same different level as a filthy Xeno, my lord. I guess you can put it in that way as well. Anyway, I'm intrigued by the idea of those shards. I will have to ask the remaining Alpha Marines to get one. Thank you for clarifying it was a Terminator reference. I would have, like, a... Uh, no idea. <laughs> I've seen it, but it just sounds weird when the with the text to speech. I was like, oh, what, what, what is that? Is gold a feeling? No. Thank you so much, the Grand Kismet, for sub uh, sus blah, 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 for subscribing. I can't talk. <laughs> for me, when they get back. Um, sure thing. Just not a shard of that punk ass fan god the deceiver. The description you gave reminds me too much of that mysterious, tentacle headed, metallic jerk who came by every Saturday night to play Paradox Billiards Vostroy and Roulette Fourth Dimensional Hypercube Chess Strip Poker with me, Zinch, and Chego Rap in the webway a few millennia ago. Although, to be fair, at least he wasn't as much of a douchebag as that fat guy with the cigar who showed up with Zinch that one time. I thought all this time you've been having a constant mental war with the forces of chaos as well as guiding our ships through the power of the Astronomical. I'm a motherfucking emperor. I'm allowed a day off once in a while. Are you? Besides, I'm the best fucking multitasker in the galaxy. I oh, believe sorry. that. Course, my lord. So far I have to say that I'm not impressed. <laughs> These Necrons do not sound as much of a threat as those hungry space cockroaches. Well, they are still more of a threat than you might think. Which actually reminds me of a story I need to tell you that will surely refurbish your pride in your angels of death. Good luck with that. <laughs> See, during year 912, the Necron Lords of the Two Mod Forces got really mad because Necrons of another empire started to expand in his territory. In response to this, the Necron Lords suddenly revealed a massive planet sized space vessel called the World Engine and started drifting through Imperial space, destroying anything that crossed this path. Later, during year 926, after several Imperial planets had been destroyed by the World Engine, 
A hole over I'm gonna the fall asleep. <laughs> Holy shit, a giant skeleton space robot planet that shoots molecule breaking beams and destroys everything it spots. I want one. All these forces attack the world engine at the same time, but apparently a very strong void shield was surrounding it, making it nigh impervious to harm. Mm. This, together with the vessel's mighty arsenals of planet devastating weaponry, cost millions of lives during that battle. I guess no one knows what retreating is in this fucking Imperium nowadays. <laughs> so now, here is the awesome part. The Space Marines known as the Astral Knights. I never made anything called Astral Knights. No, seriously, my lord. You wouldn't even care that you didn't directly make them. You see, all of the Astral Knights decided to ram their spaceship, the Battle Barge and Pester, straight into the World Engine's void shield. Fucking damn it. Why do you assholes <laughs> keep waiting for the Precious Battleships? The shield cracked up on the ship. <laughs> they keep destroying the ships, oh my gosh. All Astral Knights to board it and destroy all weapons, energy batteries, supplies, commandos, and Necrons inside. The battle continued inside the world and for a hundred hours. A hundred hours? They knew best, but not before oh my. Ara decided to overload the entire damn vessel in a central core with the help of some melter grenades. After this destructive overlord, the Voyager was turned off completely, and this is where the rest of the Imperial fleet took their chance to shot the crap out of the planet ship with cyclonic torpedoes. Well, slap me on the kneecap and call me a fucking skeleton. <laughs> that is actually amazing. After this incredibly awe inspiring victory, the remains of the world engine were taken in by the Adeptus Mechanicus while the Battle Barge Tempestus was salvaged, and set up as a monument with an Imperial shrine in it, holding statues of the 772 astral knights that had sacrificed themselves. Now, wow, that's a lot. That's engine. a lot of dudes. Sorry. I was totally mistaken. I totally remember that I did make the Astral Knights now. They were one of the secret <laughs> I made the Great Crusade that I never told anyone about. They were the best around. Nothing was ever going to keep them down. <laughs> right. Whatever you say, my lord. Yes. Also, on the previous subject matter, I have to say that I kind of like that one Necron that you mentioned. Oh. Trashy the incontinent or something. <laughs> Trashy. That's what I said, you two fucking Trashy. Custard. Anyway, even if he is an alien fiend, I cannot deny that the idea of stealing incredibly valuable <laughs> objects from all around the galaxy only to put them in a massive skeleton robot space museum is a great it's one. It's cool. Ah, uh, yes. His only goal in the galaxy is to claim historic artifacts and relics in return to his two world of Solomons. He's even gone as far as to have the head of the great Sebastian Thor preserved in there. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> At some point, we should send some marines there to steal all his shit just to fuck with him. <laughs> that would be funny. <gasps> Blood ravens! Do you know? Yes! Do tell. Well... Yes! Wait... This... The... the... Bum, 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 bum. <sighs> We are here to interrogate you with a sudden mess. Who wrote the message? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Didn't you hear me? Who wrote the message? Excuse me, are you allowed to do this? Of course we are. I wish you heard from the high lords. We are here to interrogate everyone on Terra. They're being Who very wrote efficient. Who wrote fucking message? Where are the gene stealers? <laughs> Help me! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Oh, look at that. Some unfashionable trains running around the no. rations. You came from the wrong neighborhood, shit boots. What makes you lunatics think you are allowed to do this? I thought There's they were going to put on clothes. Are you supposed to stand to be the imperial palace? Well, you say, this is special care. Uh, no! Ew! 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 What's a more That's disgusting! Demand an answer for is what you inquisitors are doing here, burning terror and harassing its citizens. We are here because the message is supposedly sent oh. from God Emperor himself, telling us the Inquisition is to be disbanded. Clearly, the message was written by a heretic. And the heart who goes to Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, Ew! The message is from the Emperor, straight from the Sanctum Imperiali, within the Imperial Palace. He is the reason why we're outside the palace in the first place. Oh, so you God. have no reason to perform this heinous act upon our planet. You're not good! That's impossible! You would lie. If the Emperor was alive or war, we would know. Would you, though? You're not, like, his best friend. He's not gonna talk to you. He doesn't even know you. Like, oh, the Emperor, yeah, I would know. 
I would know if he came back. Yeah, I don't know. Are you guys on a first name basis or something? I doubt it. Yes, my brothers are. They're freaky. A little too much. Heretics. Because the leads are heretics. Let's get back to fuel. Excuse me, who are you to say that? You're really, you're really going to say that about custodies being heretics? That's not going to go well for you, man. Ugh, I don't associate with my, my brothers. They're, they're weird. Uh, <laughs> Kyphus came. The emperor is great, but chances are he's not looking this way right now. <laughs> oh my god. Gosh. Uh. Oh, tell him about this. Fucking gross ass inquisitors. <laughs> wow. I'm now incredibly aroused. Whoa, settle. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is It's funny cuz like there'll be moments where I'm just like mm. This is just Random content that's getting boring. And then that happens. And you get all of the... I feel all of the emotions. When the... When the custodians appear on screen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's the next episode? What's it called? How long is this one? What time is it? Oh, wow. Okay. Time has gone by faster than I thought. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, every time I'm just like, ah! <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, I can, I, I can, yeah, I can see that it says 12 minutes. I'm just, I'm processing. I'm processing. Just, just dying on the inside. And maybe the outside, too. <laughs> my eyes. My eyes. It is, I will say, I agree. It is a good mix of lore and original content. You get lore, but then you also get this. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. Just this. What's it? The only thing that is, like, difficult about having a chat is that you respond to something a while after I said, I'm like, you heard me. Wh what did I say? <laughs> Thanks, Brian, for the super chat. I don't associate with my brothers. They're too greasy and naked. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Aurelian Kitten, the only two saying custodies left. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Okay, we will we'll do ten, so then we end on an even number. <laughs> no, the pillar stodies are here to stay. Ah uh, no. <laughs> oh gosh. They're 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 no. Oh boy. Oh boy. This would be very embarrassing for me. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, well we're going to we're going to watch this one and then maybe we'll watch a couple other clips. So, we'll we'll finish this one and then since there's so many, we can't <laughs> JoJo studies. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They they I wouldn't say they're the best. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. I love it. Oh, they're singing. Oh. What? Before you say another word, you're better. Before you put 
burn me like a heretic. Listen to me. There is something I must do. This woman leaves behind a suffering child. There is none but me who can intercede. In the Emperor's name, three days are all I need. Oh my. I'll return. I pledge this my is word. cringe. And I'll return. You must make me mad! Along with you across the years. Everything like you can never change. A sage! Such as you! Good, good. I was, I was hating this. I was hating that. That felt very, very, that was cringe. <laughs> Dylan, thank you for the super chat. Femstody's outfit when? Well, that depends on what you mean when you say a Femstody's outfit. Um, this is my Femstody's outfit. I want to upgrade it for more cool designs in the future. <laughs> but we'll have to see when that comes around. Maybe like on like my anniversary, like next February. I know that's still like a ways away, like nine months away. Maybe, maybe then. But this is my Femstody's outfit. <laughs> I will not be getting a... A pillar stody's outfit. <laughs> Where's the oiled abs? Under my armor. I already told you. I already got them. I'm just glad they stopped with the singing. <laughs> Damn it. Not a single useful subject has been found yet. Don't oh. you understand that sitting around here is incredibly boring? <laughs> it's like being inside a retirement home. Hey, hey, Fyodor, isn't it boring around here? Like, incredibly boring? Uh, be quiet, Doc. That's what I just said. No, that's what I just said. You know what would be fun? Letting me sit on your throne. I've always dreamed of being up on that throne. Oh. Moment. Fun things I could do up there. I said, quiet! Giving me a headache. No, you be quiet. Uh, can someone feed the goats uh. so we quiet down? We're trying to do important high lord things here. Shut up, little Billy! <laughs> now, to the business at hand. What, what were we discussing? I think it was something relating oh to gosh. banning the breathing of air uh. from anyone that is not us. Air is one of the few natural resources left on Terra, and if all of the normals use it, there'll be none left for us. Thank you for subscribing. Well, I'm not sure. My generals need to breathe as well to my command, whatever it is they are commanding again, <laughs> and I don't think they can do that very well without air. Oh air. my. I usually seem to generate currents of air right before I. Oh! oh wait. Not this again. Is not it really this. Important? I don't remember. I'm gonna lay down. Yeah, you should. I should just go up there and find the heretic myself. So, where are the news? Oh, hey, are you the guys I sent to buy my sandpaper <laughs> cigarettes? <laughs> sandpaper I really need cigarettes. My fix of nicotine. How else do you think I always sound so calm and sexy? Are you shoving the, the sandpaper cigarettes down your throat? I don't think that's how a cigarette works. <laughs> I've not never had a cigarette, but uh... <laughs> Don't we three have some sewers to investigate? We were confronted by three custodies while interrogating some citizens. Custodies? You're joking. We are not. The custodies never make the Imperial Palace. They were right there, though. And the custodies told us that the Emperor really is the one who sent the message. In the name of a thousand dead fucking heretics, are you saying? Yes, please, I mean, everything we are looking for. Well, in that wow. case, 
We're all walking straight into the Imperial- How delusional do you have to be? How delusional do you have to be? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, walk straight into the Imperial Palace. I'm sure that will go over perfectly fine. Palace and taking those mutant exhibitionists with us! Hold your mega chairs for just a moment, Inquisitor. What do you think you are doing? <sighs> Not you. Stop standing around there all silent and dead like an unplugged fucking mechanicus scout, and tell me who these space marines are. This anticipation is for some reason killing me. <laughs> then again, yes. I'm a decaying corpse, so Blood that might also Ravens. be a contributing factor. Well, they are renowned in the Imperium for stealing a lot of relics from both of No, no, th th those are their relics. They've had them for, like, years. They've had them for, like, centuries. They're absolutely their relics. They're, they're not anyone else's. I promise. Promise. <laughs> oh. There's a running joke that a long time ago, if the Emperor woke up one day and started talking like he did pre-heresy, the in Inquisition would execute him for heresy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the Blood Ravens. My favorite meme. I think I talked about this the other day. Um, It's like inside the Imperial Palace and it's like a, a duct event. And you see a blood raven crawling through, and there's like a sign inside that says, um, to the, the throne room. And he's moving along the vent, and it comes to like a junction, and he comes face to face with Trazen. <laughs> and they both look surprised, and then the next frame is the custodies, um, putting Trazen <laughs> in handcuffs. <laughs> and they have like a sign, they're taking a picture with the blood raven, he's like, uh, it's like employee of the month. <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. I love it. It's it's really good. Chapters and factions within the Imperium. It's not really known how they do it or exactly why, but they have somehow managed to amass a astounding amount of orbit due to this. So what are they called? I believe they're called the. the, the um. Why is Blood Ravens like controversial to say? He's like, he's like, oh, oh, oh. I think it'd be worse if they were like different names and it wasn't Blood Ravens. Something. Actually, I don't remember. Wait the fucking go, dodo head. <laughs> you just reached a whole new level of stupid, the disappointing kind of stupid. <laughs> That's me, the disappointing kind of stupid. Do you say chapter? As in, only a singular chapter within an entire legion is good at this? Oh no no my lord, they are not part of the legion. Why the fuck would there ever exist a single chapter outside of a legion? Well, you see, seven years after oh the war is an event took place known as the Second Founding. The Second Founding? Oh man, this already sounds about as unnecessary <laughs> as the Dark Eldar. Wasn't the appropriately named only founding good enough? <laughs> Actually, I think the name was changed to the first founding after they came up with the second one. Really? Wow. What an unbelievable <laughs> sense of stupid. <laughs> and anyway, the Primarch of the Ultramarine Swap Group Government. My singular cybernetic, I just detected a large rise in ignorance and hubris in this room <laughs> from the mere mention of that name. Created the Codex of Stasis, which is a set of rules and guidelines that nowadays is used by thousands of space marine chapters throughout the galaxy. Thousands? <laughs> the Codex Astartes became the foundation for a second founding, as Cullinan decreed that all legions still loyal were to be split up and organized into armies consisting of roughly ten companies each. One of these chapters were to retain their parent legion's original name, symbol, and color scheme, while the others could basically go and do whatever they wanted for that. <laughs> so now we've got fucking Alpha Marine babies spread out across the entire galaxy, <laughs> yep. all secluded from the rest of the Imperium to form their own belief. Dogmas and hatreds inspired by the original, which was already an enormous pile of stupid to begin with. <laughs> Seriously, are you actively it trying is dumb. to make it's my so life dumb. even more difficult? Um, well. In addition, 
this dumb book has split up the Empyrean's mighty bulwark and made it into a rotten picket fence <laughs> that even a small child could break down. Yeah. What made you people think that this was a good idea? Oh, oh my lord, government's intentions were noble. Thank you, Dylan, for the super chat. Blood Raven stole my dog, Jonicus Wickium. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know if, um, you're gonna get your dog back, man. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, this is, <laughs> I like the Blood Ravens, they're funny. He recognized that in order for something like Horus Heresy to not ever be possible again, the massive marine army should be separated and spread out. And now to see no activity is more rampant throughout mm. the galaxy than ever. Perhaps the girly man's head wasn't stuck so far up his buttocks, fervently kissing his own ass that he would have read his work before publishing. For all we know right now, there could be hundreds of chapters out there pledging their allegiance to chaos. Yeah. Or perhaps even worse. And we have no fucking idea about it or a way to stop it, because all our defenses are so thinly spread. There could even be chapters consoring and accepting both Zeno's and chaos worshippers into the ranks. Maybe even chapters so fucking reclusive and historically inept that their mere existence sound like something out of a disgustingly horrible and shitty fanfiction. Oh god. Do you guys have a feeling we're being shit on really hard right now? <laughs> uh, we're always being shat on. Fuck you. You fish. Fuck you. Huh? Fuck you. thought that oh you were gosh. going to win this poker game, but it was actually I, Crash! <laughs> Fucking damn it, Gilsman. Speaking of which, did you tell them to cut his <laughs> life support yet? It is very fucking important. Actually, when you've done that, make sure to bring that status field power adapter here. I might need that extra power to charge my data slate to play whatever <laughs> new Battle Mace 42 million game is out or whatever else might exist. Not Call of Duty, though they seriously need to stop releasing those shitty fucking <laughs> rehash games every year. Right. Lord, oh my I'll gosh. Make sure not to get it this time. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, are the Ultramarines somehow connected to all bad things that has happened for the last 10,000 years? Oh. It feels like we keep bringing oh. them up all the time. Well, they have kind of become the poster boys. Yeah, the period, boys, so poster can't boys. can't really avoid mentioning them. Oh, speaking of which, I actually remember the name of that feeding chapter now. Really? What is it then? The name of the chapter is the Blood. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm so sorry for interrupting you, <laughs> but we have something very important to inform you to about. Oh shit! It's my eternal torment of this grown made manifest again. <laughs> it's my eternal torment made manifest too. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Oh my Outside God. the palace, traveling through the spires of terror, where we noticed that everything was on fire. Not in the usual sacred incense burning <laughs> way, either. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Apparently, there are inquisitors <laughs> running amok all around the planet. They are looking for the one who sent that message demanding the disbanding of the Inquisition and the Adaptus Mistor. So they have arrived. Oh, the Imperator Aries. Really? It's... Really? Oh. I suggest we go to the High Lords immediately. Perhaps the Inquisitorial representative. Can be argued with. If not, we can just get him. Eat him or something. There is Eat no him. time to be lost. So let's go. I'm fucking down. <laughs> Me too. I was foolish to believe you would hold a promise like this one. You are untrustworthy filth. Not ever worthy of the Emperor's blessing. I am the only one here worthy of the Emperor's blessing. No, I am. Funny thing is, everyone who said it thinks they are. They probably aren't. <laughs> I am the only one who's going to save him from his very own corrupted bodyguard. You are not entering the palace, Theodore. I would like to see you try and stop. <gasps> I'll gladly show you. Guards! Ah! Uh. Did you violate the law? Run! Oh. Hahaha! Hold on! around! Rawr! That's what she did! <laughs> like, rawr! Wait, are you saying I should call the chat Fab Stodies? That's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Rawr. 
be quiet, Dominic. Well, here we are, Theodore. At long last, I can put you and your miserable little oh. cults away. Never to interfere with the Emperor's will again. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> oh. Have you forgotten that my throne is a massive weapon arsenal? Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much <laughs> for subscribing. <laughs> I have to watch him, like, knock him over. Oh, oh good. I I'm definitely worth the blessing of the God Emperor. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're all- No, you're right. You're, you're right. Uh, the Emperor hates women. We got cooties. Cooties. That's what it is. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I wouldn't get his blessing because girls are gross. We're yucky. You're right. I should not have even asked that question. <laughs> Ooh. Foolish. Have you forgotten that my throne is a massive weapon arsenal? Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> hey, are, we're gonna light you up like a sandpaper cigarette. If I <laughs> Sandpaper cigarette. <laughs> ah. Oh my goodness, that's too good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think it's back and forth on if the emperor loves women. TTS. Emperor is like yucky, gross, but 40k Emperor, he, I think he likes him. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am going to be okay. It's a lot of laughing. <laughs> I hope you guys are having fun because cause I am because it just get, it gets crazy. <laughs> Hello, people who are joining. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is, this is a mess. What, what should we title this? Warhammer VTuber just dies from laughing too much at this, <laughs> at the TTS. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you for subscribing. If the terror do not meet my demands, I will have this entire room and all of its inhabitants fall prey to my throne of judgment. Oh, the throne of judgment. It is too bad you that this passing decree is still in effect, isn't it? Fear are you absolute ass. <laughs> oh, don't feel too bad. Oh. <laughs> At least my melter will fly away from this. He said melter gun. He said a melter gun where I want it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, I should title it Warhammer VTuber Cannot Handle Fabulous Custodies. I will clip that episode. I will I will make it a separate thing to watch. <laughs> I should I should hire someone to edit it for me. <laughs> Femme's re finally reunites with her brothers. Oh gosh. Unfortunately, reunites, we should add that in. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Instead of splattering your blood across the floor. Mm. Because that was your primary concern, wasn't it? Now, I am going into that palace. And yeah. I alone will save the Emperor mm. and the Imperium of Man! Oh, this is a good spot to end. Brian, thank you for another super chat. You're awesome, dude. You like the Fab Stodies moniker? Maybe. Maybe we'll call the chat that sometimes. <laughs> wow. I think this was a good this is a good part to end this is good to end it on. The at least the TTS. Holy cow, that's just uh... <laughs> Yes, everyone, please. <laughs> Fab Stodies, this is, this is, oh my goodness. Never have I ever seen something so cursed, but it's also funny at the same time. Not all of it is funny. Some of it is dumb. <laughs> <laughs>